Recently, effects seen in the solar system have been demonstrated using single atoms here at Rice University. Early in the last century, it was rec recognized that classical mechanics, as developed by Newton, would not explain the behavior of atoms. This led to the development of quantum mechanics. However, with recent advances in experimental technique, it is now possible to produce highly excited atoms which are physically very large, about the size of the period at the end of a sentence. We use the laser to excite the atom. So when we do the experiment, we need to uh, excite the atom to a certain state which we want. Such atoms behave much as a classical system, and using them it has been possible then to reproduce in atoms effects that are seen in the solar system. In particular, we've been able to create electronic wave packets uh, whose behavior mimics that of the Trojan asteroids. The Trojan asteroids are shown here. They're, it, they're trapped in the combined gravitational potential of the Sun and Jupiter and orbit with the planet 60 degrees ahead and 60 degrees behind. In the atomic work, the effect of the planet is reproduced by an oscillating electric field such as shown here. Using this electric field, it's possible to create a localized electronic state that remains localized as it moves in a near circular orbit about the nucleus, much as do the Trojan asteroids around the Sun. This locking is remarkably robust, and by changing the period of the electronic sine wave, we're able to move the orbit to different radii, as demonstrated here, where we've moved it out to a much larger orbit radius. This is the chamber where we do our experiments. So we have a laser light which is generated from our optics table, and the laser goes through this way and finally end up in the, inside this chamber. This copper box is what is inside this chamber. So the atoms is actually in the center of this copper box. We have a laser beam going in this way and the atomic beam going in this way and they intersect each other in the center of here. This is what everything happens. The level of control that can be achieved using these techniques is remarkable and has future applications in, for example, quantum computing and in chaotic computing.